Hello guys, <clears throat> this is You Versus Them for the 31st of October through November the 8th. I am of course using two different decks for you guys. One is for you, and the other one is for them. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, please check out the website at pinkarianjen.com guys and we will get a crack of lacking from there. Let's see. How does Aquarius view the relationship with this person in the past and we see the queen of swords there um there's something not so emotional um and how you view the relationship you feel like you know you just wanted to know what the deal was with this person um I'm feeling like a little scorned, maybe, uh, just feeling some kind of way about this connection with this person. I think you guys are basically telling yourselves, you know what, it is what it is. So I'm feeling like in order for you to be like this truth seeker and um, feeling some kind of way about it, th there was something that you felt like felt like was amiss with this connection with this person like this person wasn't being totally truthful with you guys okay that they possibly did something <clears throat> that kind of made you question their loyalty even <clears throat> let's see how did this other person view the relationship with Aquarius how did they view the relationship with Aquarius Justice, they felt justified in doing whatever they did. I'm getting that this person probably felt like you guys did something to them, and whatever they did, um, like you deserved it or something. Like they only did what they did in response to what you did. This is Libra energy, I feel. Uh, they felt like you know basically that that old saying that you know I don't owe you anything and you don't owe me anything whatever happened happened and it is what it is 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 basically I see both of you guys kind of taking the same stance on the connection um, I, I feel like there wasn't a lot of emotions that were shown that it was almost like a strategic connection to some degree okay what is currently happening with Aquarius what is currently happening with Aquarius you guys are definitely starting over um, I think you're trying to do things differently you're trying not to dwell on whatever happened between you and this person this fire um, energy here now Aries Leo Sagittarius and I feel like maybe some of you guys have started back dating <clears throat> seeing other people and just really trying to move on what is currently going on with this other person what's currently going on with the other person seven of cups <laughs> here are the emotions okay but there's some confusion about how this person feels they really are unsure what to do hmm Scorpio energy they're unsure about what to do with you guys I don't know if you guys have reached out to this person or they've reached out to you but I'm feeling like this person has some axe to grind um, they feel like something is owed them. And I feel like they're having a hard time moving on. I do feel like there are options on the table for them to do other things. But I feel like their concentration is on you and what to do about you. I, I don't know why I'm feeling like this level, a certain level of obsession when it comes to you. Almost like this chess game like what I don't know something weird what's influencing Aquarius right now what's influencing Aquarius hermit figuring out your next move 
This is figuring out your next move. This is Virgo energy. For some of you, this is definitely um, somebody that you've started seeing. But um, you try to figure out if this person is really <clears throat> worth the investment is what I'm getting here. Is this something that you should be doing? Or are you wasting your time? This could definitely be somebody else, but also I feel like it could be um, this person that is of concern to you guys. What to do about them? Is it worth investing in them? Because I see them, you know, still having an axe to grind with you and being like, you know, confused about possibly what to do with you. So maybe you guys have been talking. Possibly. What is currently influencing the other person? The devil. Mm. Mm. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. I don't know what's going on with them. But I feel like this person has some get back in their spirit. Um... There's almost a level of manipulation, emotional manipulation, that this person is trying to um, to use. Maybe this person is telling you that you know you're the only one for them, um, that they only want to be with you, that they're not seeing anybody else. But there's definitely some level of obsession going on with them and, and having an axe to grind. I feel like this person is too focused on you guys right now. Too focused on getting what they feel like they deserve. Because there's something that they feel like you guys took from them. And I don't know why I'm getting like they feel like their dignity you took from them. What's coming in? This is Capricorn energy. What's coming in for Aquarius? The magician. Hmm. I feel like you guys will be able to see through whatever guys this person is is putting before you. Um you will be able to like read between the lines, see through the bullshit, I feel, um, and make your decision that way. But I feel that you're, you're going to have to um, really look within to find the answers. And don't look for those answers from this person if you guys are talking. See how you feel about conversing with them. Look at their actions. Because I feel like this situation, however it pans out, is, is up to you. It's in your hands. You really have a control in this situation um, in regards to how this goes for you. They can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. I feel like they're definitely obsessed with you. They're definitely focused on you. Um... And I feel like they're they're trying to like pull something over your eyes here. Is what I'm getting. Okay. What's coming in for them? The chariot. Be careful. Be careful. Because I do see them moving forward with whatever they have in their head whatever they've planned and they feel quite confident that they can get whatever it is that they want. This person feels confident that they can get what they want and I feel like that's you. But they're using a not passive way but I feel like they have to convince you. They have to be convincing for you to accept whatever it is that they're trying to offer you. They have to be convincing. They're not the one that's actually deciding in this situation. You are. And I feel like for some of you, they're going to get what they want. 
which would be okay if it's genuine. But this devil energy right here, um, that concerns me. Because this is a very toxic, attached, obsessed energy here. Okay? This is Cancer here with the chariot. <clears throat> what is the outcome here for Aquarius? The Three of Wands. I think you're going to be confused about what to do. I think you actually are going to be in search of the answers of what is best for you. But I think you're, you're going to be challenged here because I feel like you care about this person. And so it's going to be hard for you to really see what you need to see in this situation because you do care about this person. But I see you looking for these answers on, on what to do. You're looking for the answers here. Aries energy. What's the outcome here for the other person? What is the outcome here for the other person? Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Two of Pentacles. Um, this is like having to keep your shit in check. So what I'm feeling like is that... Um, this person is, is good at hiding this right here. They're good at hiding this. But they have to work hard to keep it hidden. So again, use your discretion here. Use your discernment when it comes to this person. Not what they're saying and what they're doing. But how you feel about what they're saying and what they're doing. Okay, how do you really feel inside? Um, I get that this person is good at whatever it is that they do at convincing you. You are a fixed sign, so it's kind of hard. So I do get that this person is like really good. They're like um, a master at what they do. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. All right, so that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.